first shot is about two inches low at 75 yards. second shot is about three inches low at 75 yards, so I think I need to come up quite a few clicks here, so I'm going to do that. One of the things you'll notice is that I'm using this rest here, and that'll give me a much steadier pos uh, shooting position. Uh, what I'm trying to do when I sight in here is eliminate as much wobble as possible, eliminate variables. You'll probably hear me take a deep breath in, hold it, and then squeeze the trigger. Uh, it's kind of challenging sometimes with a shotgun to squeeze the trigger. This uh, 870 trigger is actually not too bad, all things considered. This is the target that we have, and that shot, that shot, that shot, that one, and that one were the last five shots. I know for a fact that I squeezed the trigger really well on that shot, and I think that's just a flyer that I'm going to have to accept uh, given the variability of this particular brand of ammunition. These ones are all very, very acceptable grouping. This one just throws it in doubt. Realistically speaking, with this target at 75 yards, I certainly don't want to ethically shoot at a deer beyond this distance. And to reduce the variability, keep it in towards 50 yards would be even better. So that's the report for this ammunition. We'll see what happens when we move on to the next brand. Like I said, comfortable within 50 to about 75 yards. Uh, all of these shots are within a deer's kill zone, but I wouldn't want to push it beyond that. Thanks much.